there was like this discussion that went on for like 10 minutes between Tone and, and this this person from the audience. I were just like, this is exactly why we're doing Chain Clash. Hey Clashanians, it's us, the team from Chain Clash. Um, you might wonder what we're doing here, why we're sitting on this couch. This is actually a new format that we want to do, which is called our dad blog. Um, so from now on, every now and then, you will see us too, maybe other people as well, uh, sitting sure. on this on this uh, couch talking about all kinds of topics related to Chain Clash. The cool thing about that is we will actually dive into a couple of questions um, and specifically questions that you guys can ask. So whenever you have something that you want to know about the game, feel free to just post it in our Discord, Twitter or in the comments of this video. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll pick some questions in the, next, uh, in the next video and talk about this. And for today, I guess we'll just have a couple questions already prepared to cover kind of the basics of Chain Clash and give you a little bit of a uh, little bit of insight on what this game is about and why it's cool and why we're like super excited to bring this uh, out very soon. So yeah, what is Chain Clash? Chain Clash is basically a mobile uh, browser game and think Pokemon meets Crypto Kitties meets uh, Celebrity Deathmatch. And what that means, <laughs> you like that? <laughs> uh, what that means is basically. Well, instead of Pokemon, we have uh, what we call avatars, which are like the like collectibles that live on the EOS blockchain. Um, and you can basically, well, you own them, you can train them, um, and you can well, play our game with them. And uh, the cool thing about them is every avatar belongs to a specific clan. And clans in Chain Clash are basically, well, crypto projects or blockchains. We'll start with five at the game launch which is bitcoin bitcoin cash eos uh, ethereum and tron and we'll eventually add a lot more in the future and this all in the context of you know competitions between those clans right because ultimately well you want to fight for your clan and dominate over all the others right so it's basically like crypto kitties and pokemon and celebrity deathmatch in a the theme of crypto twitter yeah, exactly. Um, and now you you might be wondering why we brought up Celebrity Deathmatch, because that already brings me to uh, the first aspect of why I think Chain Clash is pretty damn awesome. Um, and that is, well, our avatars are not just like random collectibles or like Monsters. fictional fictional characters or like small cute little cats. Our avatars, our collectibles in the game, at least some of them are actually based on real people and not just any uh, people, but crypto celebrities. Um, and if you've checked out our website, you might have seen that already. We already announced three, well, no, that's not true. We already announced five of them, which are uh, Crystal Rose, Brock Pierce, John McAfee, and then our dear friends, uh, Travis and Joel from the Bad Crypto Podcast. Um, and that's kind of one of the one of the cool things behind the whole chain clash story is that we have a lot more of those people in the pipeline, and they will be coming into chain clash as avatars, and you can basically own them and play them and have fully playable uh, characters that are your favorite crypto people or your favorite like crypto celebrities, and they will represent their clan. Um, I mean, Propius, for example, he's representing the EOS clan, um, and then whenever you fight with him, your clan will benefit from that. Cool, you said it all. <laughs> I said it all. Well, there, there's a couple more things to do. But <clears throat> so basically you can put all the arguments that you have um, with proof of stake is better than proof of work, um, your blockchain doesn't scale, yeah, but yours is not decentralized. You can put all those arguments into a game and basically just put that in a, in a clash and really fight and, and prove which blockchain and which blockchain project is the better one and which coin, right? And um, that's mm -hmm. what, what I like about it because it's kind of putting all of that and summarize that in kind of culminate that into the, this one leaderboard. And then you know which one's better. <laughs> For sure. Objectively. For sure you will know which one's better. I guess that's also kind of the reason why, I mean, why we came up with Chain Clash and how we had the like the whole idea for this game. And I mean, anyone in the space probably knows 
how crypto people sometimes behave on Twitter, right? Already, if, if, <laughs> already, already. But I, I don't know. I think I think Twitter might. Ah, um, no, it's both pretty bad. Um, so yeah, I mean, we kind of found this hilarious a little bit, at least how people sometimes fight over Twitter and are you know starting with sometimes objective statements or or like uh, discussions and then very very quickly this turns into just you know no bitcoin is better no bitcoin cash is better no bitcoin is better. you remember that meetup that we went to in la where yeah. like there was crypto twitter in real life um where tom vase was on the panel and somebody from the from the audience was asking questions about bitcoin and decentralization and whether it's fast and block size and stuff and there was like this discussion that went on for like 10 minutes between tone and, and this this person from the audience, or just like this is exactly why we're doing chain clash. Yeah. <laughs> this was so amazing. Um, so how do you play the game? What do you do in the game? Well, as I said, the game mostly revol uh, revolves around those avatars, um, and what you at the very core do with the avatars is um, on the one hand side you can train them. Each avatar has different attributes. The attributes also vary between the clans. Um, and you can train those attributes. Um, and on the other hand side, at the very core of the game, well, you basically clash with the, with the avatars. You can pick different arenas. Um, there is a kind of ladder um, in the game where you can climb the ladder and reach higher stages. And well, the better the avatar is, the higher the stage. Um, and well, you clash with those avatars. And clashing works in a way that um, you can choose a fight strategy, which is Kind of you, you choose between different aggressive moves and de uh, between different uh, defensive moves um, that are available in the game. Well, ultimately, either you win or you lose, which depends on your fight strategy, your avatar strength, but obviously also on, on the opponent. So you will be seeing Craig Wright fighting Roger Veer in, in the video? In the you animation? might be seeing Craig Wright fighting versus Roger Veer in the video. Um, you can definitely see... Uh, Brock Pierce fighting John McAfee in the video, in, in the video, for example. That is something I can already say. Um, but yeah, exactly. So there will be there will be like we'll put your avatar and the opponent avatar into like uh, what I think really really cool fight scene with really cool graphics, where you basically see your fight strategy uh, reflected and the opponent's fight strategy, and ultimately well, you will also see if you win or if you lose. Yeah, you. Avatar will also take damage from fighting, um, so you also have to kind of check if your avatar has still enough uh, health if you if you start the next clash because if it doesn't, it might actually die. It can die. It can die. Luckily, death is not permanent in Chain Clash. We don't want to kind of take away your precious avatars for you, uh, from you forever. It's a game. <laughs> it's a game, but. Those are NFTs, right? And if you own them, well, you probably want to have something of them and have some value out of them in the long run. You spoke about attributes. Um, what kind of attributes are there and roughly what do they re resemble? So, yeah, each avatar has attributes, um, four at this time, um, which are strength, wisdom, agility, and resilience. And I guess they are somewhat self-explanatory already. Um, and well, the cool thing about the attributes is not only will they increase the strong avatar and the better your attributes, the, the, the better your like fighting will be. Um, but as I already briefly mentioned, the attributes also depend on, um, your avatar's clan because that is something we kind of wanted to bring into the game is the characteristics of the underlying uh, blockchains of each clan. So, for example, a Bitcoin avatar um, ha will have more resilience on average than other avatars because, I mean, it's Bitcoin, it's rather stable, right? Um, but probably Bitcoin doesn't have the best throughput in terms of, you know, transaction, transaction, uh, transaction uh, speed, for example, in comparison to EOS. But do we account for Lightning Network there? Well, <laughs> I mean, um, maybe one day, maybe, maybe one day we will. I mean, we, for now we're making use of the more like stereotypes, characteristics, uh, of, of those blockchains. Right. Um, but yeah, in general, I mean, that's, that's, that's one of the mechanics we have in the game. So, um, depending on, on the characteristics of the blockchain, your avatar will also be different from, from others in, in the game. So why should people care about their class to begin with? Well, 
I mean, we've already touched on this whole crypto Twitter uh, thing, right? And we want to create a game where crypto communities actually matter, where not the quantity or the loudness of the crypto community matters, but the quality of the crypto community matters. We will have competitions and we will have tournaments. Let's, let's call it tournaments for now, uh, so we don't give away too much. Um, where, as I said, quantity doesn't matter. It's just about the quality. And the more engaged and the stronger your community in terms of what they can bring to the table, the more you will benefit from it, the more your client will benefit from it. Um, and yeah, I mean, what I can say is that I can highly recommend to, even if that will not start right with the game when we launch it, because it will be in the context of a bigger event, um, you better start training uh, and leveling up your avatars right away because once we launch that you want to be in a place where you are already at the top um, and among the better avatars so that you can benefit the most from it. What do we do, what do people do of clients that aren't there yet? Will they have lost already? Well, no, they won't. First of all, if there's a clan that isn't there yet that you really want to be part of, the first thing you have to do is go on Twitter and tweet at us which client you want to see in the game because we will add more and more clients very shortly after the game launch. It's just we, I mean, we want to see which, which clients are in demand, right? We just, we don't want to just spam uh, our game with all kinds of clients right from the start. So, so hashtag be on chain clash. Hashtag be on chain clash and then tweet us our, our uh, tweet us your, your suggestion for a clan. Um, and I mean, obviously, the more the more people uh, want to be in that clan as well, the better your chances are that we will eventually add it to the game. And then we will also bring someone from that clan, which might be considered an influencer or celebrity, as an avatar into the game. Um, but yeah, back to your question. Um, so ultimately, almost all parts of the competition in Chain Clash are designed from a game mechanic perspective in a way that um, no matter if, like, you are a small or you are a new clan, which might be at a disadvantage um, if you think about it at first, right? Um, but that doesn't matter. So no matter how small or your, uh, your, how young your clan is, basically, you will still have a chance to significantly participate in the competitions between clans and also to win the competitions so, and the prizes that come with it. So, great game. When does it go live? Very soon, actually. Um, it's just a couple weeks from now. On the 2nd of April, April, the game will launch. So you have to wait a couple more days, but eventually you will be able to play. So go to the Chain Clash website, join us on Discord, and wait four more weeks until the game goes live. Let me, oh, but what, how did I sit? <laughs> I, have to, I have to smile. I always forget to smile. I you're, have such a, no, you're okay. I have such a serious face. No, it's, it's okay. okay. It's, it's, yeah. it's totally okay. I think you're better than me. Like last yeah. in the last video, I thought it was hilarious how serious it looked. Like I was. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but this is only because you are serious. God damn it! It's such a charm. So Sebastian, how do you play the game actually? So what what is it that you do in the game? How do you play it? Oh, you want me to answer this now? <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay, all right, so, so I, I ask again. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question? <laughs>